Istanbul is the gate between Europe and Asia. It's an open window between two different worlds and the meeting point of seven young yet experienced hunters. They represent different European countries and cultures, but they all have a common dream. These hunters have been selected to show and communicate to thousands of worldwide hunters what will happen on the following hunting days around this new and unique experience. Each hunter will have the chance to participate and judge the hunt of wild boars in open areas, under the most extreme weather conditions from the most remote and hidden part of Turkey. <laughs> okay, 10.30 the night we just arrived at Ankara. We are about to leave one of the most exciting hunting experiences that you can feel all around the world. I will be spending seven days with five people here in Ankara, in the area of Ankara hunting wild boar in open area. Just follow me because we start now. Wild boar unlimited, first chapter here in Turkey after the big wild boars. We are nearby Kusunlu at the Kankiri province at about 140 kilometers north from Ankara's airport. A group of seven hunters has arrived from different European countries because this area has been harassed by an overpopulation of wild boar never seen before. During the four following days, this group will have to hunt as much boar as possible in order to restore the balance of the wild boar population and help to save the harvests. The governor of the region wanted to meet us just before driving to the hunting area. During the visit to the village, we discover their customs, place of prey, and met their people while we walked the streets. The Muslims' hospitality is one of their best qualities. It is almost their religion, so their reception couldn't be better. People from at Karakalar were desperate for help in order to solve the problem of wild boar overpopulation, agriculture is their main source of income. İçerize geldiğinizde çok mutluyuz. Teşekkür ederiz. Hoş geldiniz. Ayaklarınıza sağlık. Sanırım av için geldiniz Türkiye. Uh, he's very happy that you choose this area for to come. He's saying very welcome to all of you that you come to help that uh, kind of the wild problems to solve. And he's so uh, glad to see you here with us. Inshallah, umduğunuzu bulursunuz. 
iyi bir af sezonu geçirirsiniz. E, Türkiye'den de giderken güzel anlarla gitmenizi temenni ederim. Teşekkür ederim. He's wishing good luck in our job, uh, not easy one, and he thinks that maybe it will continue our collaboration in the new seasons. He would like to see us uh, more here and wish good luck to all of us. And so one more time, thank you for your coming here. Inshallah. Maşallah, maşallah. İnşallah öğrenmişsin. Maşallah da biliyorum. Evet, inşallah maşallah. İnşallah maşallah, evet. After that unforgettable meeting, we finally drive to the hunting area, full of energy because we were going to help the local people with their big problem, but also very concerned with the big responsibility that rested on our shoulders. The weather was getting worse by leaps and bounds, and it could frustrate our hunting plans. The snow blocked our way to the post and, arriving at the meeting point was getting difficult. Today we decided to beat around 600 hectares, placing the hunting blinds at a safe distance in order to cover as much area as possible, but we had to be very careful to close well the area in order to have the chance to shoot as much wild boar as possible. accident happened. The, the, this is the next car we we parked here. Yeah. This is a, this the third day we are going to hunt. It's snowing like hell and now we have got stuck with the car. Even it's a 4x4 but yeah. very very extreme conditions so we will keep you updated. <laughs> After getting the cars out from the snow, we finally arrived at our posts. We were only seven hunters to fill a hunting line longer than 10 kilometers. It seemed to us an impossible mission, but the guides really knew the area and expertly placed us in the most common natural ways. <laughs> Ama şey az bekleyen önce avcıları koyalım. Şimdi bunları ben haber vereceğim size. Siz yeniniz alın. Nereden gideceksiniz bilmiyorum. Burada yol var zaten. <gülüyor> Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and dub it Cause that got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something That's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and Everything was ready. The hunters were waiting in their positions and at any moment there could be a surprise. Beautiful stand here up on the mountains. Um, we have a very, very open area. So we, have, we can shoot. Our peop uh, the people said we can shoot in this uh, shooting sector because they're down, uh, downhill there are, uh, are the other hunters. So we can shoot all over here. There are some, some trees, some bushes. But yeah, they told us that the beat comes from uh, from above, so maybe the white ball keep running down here. Yeah, and uh, we will see what we can get. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you. 
So the very demanding thing here hunting white boar in Turkey is that you're actually looking at a snow covered ground with black rocks and the wild boars are perfectly camouflaged. So you basically are looking for that one moving black rock. This is what it's all about basically like constantly scanning the area and looking like checking spot after spot after spot and then finally one is moving and that's the kyla you're going for and that's why we're here for to hunt wild boar this is my first time hunting here this is an amazing country with a beautiful views amazing views with lots of snow <laughs> and well i'm wearing a merkel gun with a lake visor amazing amazing incredible machines really the land is also different to germany maybe it looks similar like bavarian or um, rocks we have a lot of snow there and yeah, it's different hunts uh, here today we're in a privileged place although the wind is hitting me in the face i really have great time just looking at the countryside waiting for the wild boars to come or not to come we will never know and this is one of the most exciting parts of the hunt I mean just having you know the excitement that if you see a wild boar and you can shoot it wow this is nothing compared to that it is not like being in a close area just shooting and shooting animals this is what we call real hunt you have to be clever and more strong than the animals to support this kind of weather during a couple hours just waiting and sitting here with the wind just hitting you in the face in the snow and uh, without knowing if a wild boar will be coming or not so this is what really makes this hunt so special and you feel like a real hunter here in this country with these really nice people that you surround the main message is that you have to practice shooting and then everything will be good in hunting Peace. <laughs> the game beaters were seven kilometers ahead of us, and as soon as they received the order, they started to beat the mountains. Anything could happen from now on. The beaters group is formed by 14 people and seven brave dogs struggling through the snow, shooting their shotguns to make the boar come our way. Due to the weather conditions of today, it would take them around three hours to get to us. The hunting clothes we selected for this trip were the key to withstanding the hard weather. Snow and temperatures under four degrees below zero. Hunters started to hear the first voices and shots as the beaters were approaching while trying to push the boar to the hunters.
this is why Bo Unlimited. So oh, what I can This was pretty exciting. We saw this one uh, boar coming up the hill, and then it tried to pass here, and then it got a, a clean, uh, uh, I had a small gap, and I took the shot, and then maybe I, I had the, I had a, a little bit too low, and then it went up, and then I took another shot, and the, and the third shot, and the set, a third shot was perfectly, it was killed immediately, and now it's laying there under this tree. Amazing hunt. Beautiful, perfect rifle. Very, very quick reloading with the Helix. We have a perfect, perfect skyline here, or perfect atmosphere here. This is hunting. This is World Born Limited. Thumbs up. Let me tell you guys, it was worth it. It was so worth it. It's so demanding, it's dangerous. You climb, you, you, you run up and down. But when you see those Kylas walking in those mountains, 
It is an amazing view, really. It is absolutely amazing. And I'm so happy. Finally, and after a huge effort from the hunters and game beaters, we got a successful outcome. All the posts, except one, got the chance to shoot a ball. It was time to bag the prey. So like I said before, I couldn't be more happy about my first day here in Turkey. First drive and then a boar like this. In Germany we say Lebenskeiler, which means the Keiler of your life. This guy is super old and we also have a saying, the Keiler chooses his hunter. And uh, he chose me. There were shots fired. I think that most of the shots were fired by the drivers, um, but I heard two boars are down as well. And I had a wonderful, wonderful experience here in Turkey. A big thank you to uh, all the people that made this possible. First of all, Ibralia TV. Thank you so much, Manuel. Thank you so much for having me here and uh, to give me this opportunity to hunt in this beautiful landscape. Merkel sent the rifle. I'm used to the Helix. That's my rifle. I'm super familiar with it. RWS sent the bullet. 300 Winchester Magnum. I was able to place a great shot. The, the ball went down right away. A bullet was the evolution. And uh, finally, Leica sent the scope. Uh, so. I, I had um, a wonderful experience and it couldn't have been better. Uh, so thank you everyone and I, I really appreciate this. At lunchtime, our dear local friends prepared the typical food of the area around an improvised fire. It was mostly roasted lamb, because in the Muslim religion it is forbidden to eat any kind of pork. <laughs> the meat of the wild boar would be used as fodder to feed domestic animals. Oh. 
Perfect. Tell me, Lares, what kind of stuff we, we equip, we chose for the Wild Boar Unlimited here in Turkey? Yeah, this is my favorite rifle for the, I think for the, for the uh, hunt here in Turkey, because we have the synthetic rifle, synthetic version of the Helix Speedster. So we have um, a very good, very good uh, grip, handling, no? great handling, and also we have a great grip because we have very, very tough, tough conditions uh -huh. with it. So we have. Today, in this morning, this morning we had very, very lot of snow and yeah. it's very, very been wet. Very so we important have, to have a, a really good grip. Yeah, in, in the with, it, with also you, we have very, very good handling with it. Uh, yeah, and also we have a very rocky, uh, rocky landscape. So and it's better so, to have the synthetic, yeah. not to scratch the wood. No, yeah, not to nice. crash the wood. Yeah. What about the optics? Because we chose, I see that we chose up to almost 15 of. Yeah. Uh, so we we. We are on the driven hunt, uh -huh. so normally you use like uh, small magnification, but here we have very very fast shooting. So uh -huh. we are there are shooters up to 300 meters. Yeah, yeah? It's amazing. So we have chosen the the Fortis from Leica, uh -huh. this uh, 2.5 by 15 by 56. So we. Uh, can go up to 15 magnification and then we go very for very very long distances and this is I think a very very good thing and also we have the red dot so you can have a really good on this on the snow you have a really good oh uh, yes I red. tried this morning and it helps really a lot <laughs> and it's a lot of fun also yeah you know? it's a lot of fun when yeah. you see the red dog yes yeah here it is my friend. but this is this is the but this is the thing when you are on a driven hunt you normally use small magnification and now it's but here the issue is that uh, here in Turkey in the driven yeah. hunt you take very, very, very long shots. That, yeah. that reminds me that we use the four stable stick to, to, to make a good standing on the yeah. animal. We can show it like you can put it here. And the good thing about the stable stick is you can move it here on the, on the fore end, uh -huh. but also here at the back. So you can also shoot in the in the movement yeah okay. this is the this is the great advantage and with the saber stick you are very very very very uh, uh, quick here uh -huh. and regarding the bullets we brought the RWS the evolution yeah. 300 yeah, which is the Magnum, I, the caliber. I, Tell I me would, about the caliber. Why we choose? So, at, in my suggestion for everybody who who, uh, who goes to Turkey and hunting wild boar, I would choose at least 300 Winchester Magnum because you need a very very strong powerful, bullet, huh? a powerful bullet. Because the you, you you've already seen it, <laughs> the the boar and the caliber are animals. that big. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you need very powerful bullets, at least 300 Winchester Magnum. Yeah, we or, chose the Evolution. The yeah, Evolution. It's a def deformation. Uh, uh, bullet, so you you have a very very good power into the bullet, but it also goes through the through yeah. the animal. So you have also blood when you not not, not uh, this is not a deadly shot. This way we won't have problems with the wild boars that fight a lot with the dogs that we yeah. had the issue the first day. Yeah, yeah. And it's a very effective bullet. The weather was getting better. And it seems that we will be able to enjoy more hunting days since today's journey has been really hard. There are wild boars almost all around the world. It's probably one of the most uh, huntable species that we have in the planet. And when we started up with the idea of creating the Wild Boar Unlimited, the objective that we follow is to try to bring you in images how the Wild Boar is being hunted in different countries. This has been the first chapter that we have ever filmed. We put together a group of seven fantastic hunters and huntress uh, and we share four days of hunt together here in Turkey. It's been just great to 
merge all the cultures and bring them to a new area and a new country to hunt wild boars, driven hunt in this case, in an open area. Um, following the conversation of all the hunters that came with me to this wonderful trip, we shared a lot of things together and this is what we try to bring you in images again. It will be the adventure. It's not just the shooting, which is an important part, of course, of the hunt, uh, but the whole trip. I want people uh, to talk to the camera how they feel, what new things they have discovered together. And uh, it is true, when uh, you visit a new country and you don't know anyone, but you get together with some other hunters, you look at the face, and you know that you have something in common. This is what we just have experienced in this wonderful trip of the Wild Boar Unlimited. And I just wanted to bring that up for all of us. It wasn't really important how many wild boars did we shoot. It was really important to live the experience and don't miss a second of it. Um, it's been a wonderful experience and we, keep, we will keep up with the Wild Boar Unlimited and we don't know where they will take the next trip, but I'm sure I will take these uh, six hunters, fantastic people with me, also my crew, and I hope to see you soon in the next Wild Boar Unlimited. In the first shot. Did you get it on camera? The first one. Don't miss the second part of this exciting adventure of wild driven hunts in Turkey. That will be premiered on July the 1st, 2020. Fime. <laughs> Fime. Fime. Yeah. Just kidding. Very good hunt, thank you very much. So, Bravo. guys, finally. Perfect. Thank you very much, everyone who, who made this possible. Um, I'm very happy today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.